beautiful Scorpios, welcome back to the channel. Lisa here with the Angel Love 333. Uh, we're getting ready here to do your November reading. Hope everybody is doing well. Please always remember this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everybody out there. And with that, Scorpio, let's get started. Always let me know in the comments what you're trying to manifest in your life. And um, with that, let's get started. Thank you, Sparrow. What can you share with Scorpio for November? What does Scorpio need to see? Please share with Scorpio what they need to see. All right. So, I'm going to pull the bottom of the deck as well. And then I also want to get a couple of the wisdom of the Oracle. The first deck is the Archangel, I'm sorry, the Archangel Power Tarot deck. I love it. Okay. And let's see what's coming through here. Oh my gosh, you have three uh, purple cards. So that is telling me, Scorpio, right now your intuition is even stronger than what it is. It also feels you may be receiving messages. Okay, it could be from your loved ones who have passed on, your archangels right your guardian angels but there's definitely an energy that you may see signs and synchronicities i'm already seeing repeating twos here so repeating twos may be something you're seeing or you will be seeing and that can also tell me that there may be some sort of decision i'm also getting repeating eights with these cards and this card i'm also getting number 11 which is an indication of some sort of new beginning here so let's get started. So your first card here is justice. And this really says fight for justice and equality and rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. So there's something I feel Scorpio in your life, and it could be anything. Some of you could have some sort of court case. Some of you could have something that is very transactional with a document. Okay, I'm going to say here, you know, some of you I'm just hearing like could even be a case with a child. You know, could be uh, child support. Uh, some of you it could be some sort of legal action. Also picking up here, you know, I, I feel like whatever this decision is, and some of you could be in love. Some of you may be a situation in your love life and you're really wanting this to work out or you just want to see the justice in the matter, okay? So Spirit is saying that this is going to go in your favor. Now, the second card is the High Priestess. And this is telling me, again, your intuition is going to be really strong during the month of November. Listen to your thoughts and feelings. Don't dismiss them because you are going to receive inspiration and it's also an energy here if you are making some sort of decision in your life it's telling you this is going to work out and you're going to feel a sense of peace okay so i'm feeling here too like i'm just getting kind of this heaven sent energy you are being watched over at this time now you also have your new beginnings and this can talk about forgiving the past it can also talk about starting something new in your life and also maybe some sort of purpose, okay? So I'm really strongly feeling with this energy, Scorpio. You are definitely being led by your angels. It's definitely an energy of fate, okay? I love this card because it's also like this person is embracing themselves, like they're doing something for themselves. So whatever is happening here, it's for your highest good. And there's also something very comforting here. And I'm going to tell you, I'm also channeling because I also channel. I don't need the cards to tell you, but I feel like you are going to be having some very comforting dreams. Okay. And it could be from your relatives, your ancestors. In these dreams, you may already be having them. Okay. You may be having them or you're going to have them upcoming. There's something about comforting dreams. I feel like they're heaven sent or your ancestors, and you know, interesting you have the breathe. Normally I would read this card differently, but I feel like there's just definitely an overwhelming sense of peace about this. So I feel there's going to be an upcoming decision or some of you may have a decision you're trying to make. Don't worry because I feel like you're going to get the answers, all right? So let's see, Tarot says, let's see what else is showing up for you, Scorpio. 
And I don't know if I said it, the purple energy is your crown chakra, okay? Some of you, it may be a time of feeling maybe very clear about a situation, maybe a situation that you didn't feel clear about in the past or you didn't feel at peace, okay? But Spirit wants to say that this is going to work out in your favor. Thank you, Spirit. What else can you share with Scorpio? What else does Scorpio need to see? And for the monthlies, I just channel whatever comes through. It's not necessarily love. these cards and we will go through them okay I definitely feel there's an energy here of forward movement for you and it's leading you to something very stable and secure now let's go through this you have here the five of pentacles and you also have here the page of cups okay you have justice i feel like there is um, a situation that you just feel is lacking it's been lacking in your life and i feel what spirit is trying to show you with this page of cups there's something new that's about to happen and some of you it may be like you start to feel out something new in your life Okay, and I'm going to say for some of you, it may be you decide to date new people. Some of you, it may be, like I said, I am picking up a child. There's something here with money and finances. So like I said, there could be some sort of court case, divorce, child support. Interesting that that came up. Okay, so that some of you may be going after if you're a female, right? Or it could even be a male, but I, I don't know why I'm picking up more so female here. But I feel like... There is something lacking here, and I'm going to clarify. Some of you, it's a financial situation. And if you are, uh, if there is some sort of course, uh, court case going on for you, I feel like you're going to get some communication around that in November. So let's see here. Thank you, Spirit. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? So this definitely feels like the past. Some of you, I definitely got here something around a child. You may find out some more details um, about this. I do get the Hierophant here and the Knight of Pentacles. So it definitely feels strongly that a lot of you are, your higher self is telling you that it's time for change. It's time for something more reliable, something more consistent, because I have to tell you on the bottom of the deck, you do have the Nine of Wands. And if this is a love situation, I'm going to tell you here, you got two nights. I feel like some of you, there is a new love romantic opportunity coming in your life. Some of you, I do feel like this could even be a return of a past person if this is love for you. So I'm going to clarify that page of cups. I am picking up a past situation that is lacking, okay? So if you if you feel this is love, I do get Aries Leo Sagittarius. I'm also getting a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So tell me more about this Page of Cups. Okay, still picking up a Six of Cups energy, past energy. We have an Emperor, Aries, and a King of Cups is your energy, Scorpio. I'm really kind of getting here with the Emperor that this is you standing in your power here with the situation, but let's clarify this Emperor. Some of you, I feel like too, this could be a new contract, a new employment, feeling like your higher self is telling you that maybe it's time for change. More about this, uh, this Emperor. Got Queen of Cups. Oh, Ten of Swords. No. Well, I'm going to start with love because I know some of you, this is going to be around your career too. You got Queen of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Okay, you're going to hear from somebody that there was an ending with this person. And some of you, I feel 
either there's a divorce here, child support case, an ending. There was definitely some sort of hurtful ending here with a partner because we have the king and queen of cups. Someone you could have been married to. Could even be somebody you were just in a relationship with. That was lacking. And now it's time for change. So you're going to hear something about this when it comes to relationship. There's some sort of communication coming your way. It could be why the Knight of Wands is here. Someone who has been inconsistent, unreliable in your life. Definitely your higher self knows that this has been a situation that has been lacking. Now, as it pertains to money and career, Scorpio, some of you, if you have an employer, you're going to change employers. I see you doing something new. I see a new contract, whether it's a, a offer letter or whether you're freelancing and you get some sort of new contract is strongly what I'm getting there. Okay. Now you got the high priestess, got the six of wands, and you also have here the eight of swords. So I feel like something here has held you back from moving forward. Okay, Six of Wands tells me that people are watching you. People are attracted to your energy. People inspired by you. That's what I get here with the Six of Wands. But I feel like you're in your head. And that may be this decision that I am seeing. Now, this pertains, I feel, to love. And this also pertains to career. Okay. So let's clarify this Eight of Swords. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords. So there's something here too about getting recognized, right? Tell me more about this Eight of Swords. Yeah. See, this Eight of Cups and the Five of Cups tells me this is definitely your energy. What holds you back is I feel like there's something about feeling unfairly treated. I feel like you have been very disappointed about a situation and I feel like this is about fear stepping into the unknown here. Okay, so some of you may be feeling uncertain or having doubts about stepping into the unknown. Some of you, it may be around a relationship Okay, you do have the Knight of Wands. I'm sorry, Knight of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Okay, so right now I feel like with this energy and the Eight of Swords there, just feel like you're you're not, there's not a whole lot of movement here. See, and that's why this Page of Cups is showing up. Some of you, you know, you are going to get communication, but I'm also feeling here that something very much so disappointed you and a lot of you that has kind of put you in your head a bit and so this high priestess comes to tell you it may be time for you to meditate to reflect on the situation and listen to your higher self like i said now is a time your intuition is very very strong now you have the chariot and you also have here the four of wands and this is just beautiful okay there's something here about a new beginning forward movement, moving towards your abundance, moving towards your stability. So I'm going to clarify this four of wands. Ooh, okay. Well, uh, oh, these are the same two cards. I'm not going to pull those. That was the knight of swords and the eight of wands. Tell me more about the four of wands. Yeah. See, there's something here about you making a decision, and it's exactly what I was, I was saying. Uncertainty about the future, about moving forward, two of swords, five of pentacles, and the ten of wands. Some of you, it just almost feels like there's a lot of weight on your shoulders right now, or you feel like you're carrying some sort of responsibility, okay? Or you've had to carry something. It could be you've had to carry a relationship. You know, you just feel like this has been very heavy. Something maybe it's very hard for you to break free of, you know, and I feel like this is relationship. You know, some of you it could be a work situation or a business you own, but I feel like there's something here about 
this is very heavy for you and it's been very hard for you to make a decision. That's also here the moon. I talked about the uncertainty. It is also Pisces energy. But let's clarify this hangman. Tell me more about the hangman. Six of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. And the Magician. All right. Yeah. I feel like Scorpio, this is where you're going to this month. Someone's going to help you out because you have the Six of Pentacles here. It's a very giving energy. I feel like somebody's going to help you out in this, in whatever you're going through this month, whatever has been heavy on your mind, heavy on your shoulders. Someone's going to help you out this month. And it's a very giving energy. And it's interesting here too. You have the magician and you also have here the page of cups. Now, some of you, if you resonate, right, that this is a past love returning that you're going to get communication from. The energy I'm picking up here, you're going to have some epiphanies when this person comes around. And it's almost like you know what to do. And I'm going to read the Six of Pentacles uh, differently for that. I feel like you're going to be able to make a decision. Do I want to put any more time and energy into this connection? Because I see somebody walking away, somebody thinking, pondering, and maybe it's time to walk away from a situation that I don't feel like I'm getting what I need. And I feel for others in a financial situation or transactional situation that we talked about, there's some sort of friend who may be helping you out and it's a giving energy and I feel like this is where you start to feel better about the situation and this moves you towards your stability, your security here, okay? Like I said, it turns out in your favor. I feel like I want to ask, let's use this deck. Because there's some sort of new beginning that is starting for you, Scorpio. And I'm going to say here with this new beginnings and this emperor here, some of you may be deciding to um, start a side business or maybe you already have a side business. Some of you may be leaving your in, uh, of an employer if you work for an employer and doing your business full time. Oh, I love these cards. Okay, I love it. Look at this. You have alchemy. It says the path you're on is about to go th through a very powerful transformation. Yes, this is a shift. I also call this my illumination card. So again, I feel like you're going to get some insights from spirit to show you the way, right? It's almost like the path is going to be illuminated and this is this awakening. I feel like a lot of you are going through a transformation, an awakening, right? Or you're just going to start to see things from a different perspective. And I'm going to tell you, it can it could even be like a friend or someone you talk to and it's like they say the right thing and it's like that switch just turns a different direction and you see things differently you also have here celebration this is a great time in your life things are progressing with grace and ease as never before this is a triumph can also talk about you having fun times Okay, it can be a message here. Maybe you need to get out and, and do more fun things, right? If you're feeling disappointed about a situation, you also have your momentum. Keep the momentum going. Whether big or small steps, keep pushing for what you want. Okay, this can talk about a fast energy. So it feels like, Scorpio, if you start taking the small steps, this could turn into something that just moves really, really fast, happens quickly. You know, it's kind of that energy in a blink of an eye. Things could just change. Like I just talked about that switch. So I feel, Scorpio, there is going to be some sort of major decision that you will be making 
in the month of November and I feel like it's going to bring you a lot of peace. So let's see uh, what the guidance is here. I love it. Okay, take the bottom of the deck as well. So I'm going to start with the bottom uh, card here, number 65, which is 11. Remember, we have 11 here. Okay, 11, 11. Those new beginnings bringing you towards your abundance. But it says here, trust in the great mystery. So some of you, it may be a situation where, you know, it's like stepping into the unknown. And that may be what it makes you feel very uh, uncertain, okay, or doubtful. And I feel the illumination here is, like I said, your intuition is going to be so strong this month. So don't second guess your gut feeling, your intuition about the decisions you are making. You also have here the vulture spirit, number 63, which is nine. You're closing out a cycle. And some of you may be breaking a cycle or a pattern that you've been going through, right? It could be in your life. It could be with a specific person. But the vulture spirit comes to tell you that nothing is wasted, right? And I feel like this is saying, I'm channeling here, it's like you come out on top in the situation, right? There's a crown on his head, okay? You come out and the justice card, this is working in your favor. Nothing is wasted because you've learned from the experience. You now have that knowledge to put in your toolbox, okay? And make things happen. Knowledge, skills, wisdom, all of those things. So it wasn't a waste for whatever you've been through. And then you have the hummingbird spirit, number 34, which is seven. Be here now. This is living in the moment. Don't get too stressed about the future or the past. Just be in the moment. And that is how you're going to receive those messages and insights, right? Thinking clearly. And some of you may see hummingbirds. This may be one of the signs. So if you see hummingbirds, you're going to know, right, that this reading is going to validate this reading here. So hummingbirds may be the one that comes to you and really think about what you're thinking about when you see a hummingbird. And it can be any of any sign that is meaningful to you. Okay. And I have to say the next card is number 46, which is 10. See, you're completing a cycle here. Look at that. You're shining. Your heart is shining. Some of you, it may also be, I feel like your heart chakra may be opening too. Um, but you have here the peacock spirit. Let it shine. And what I mean by that, your heart chakra opening is that some of you may have been heartbroken about a situation. And it may be like now you are going through your healing, right? And your heart is able to open up to something new. So Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.